welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we go any further, can I just apologise for this? Um, pregnancy doesn't do great things to my skin, guys, and I've got the worst melasma. I think it's called melasma. It's like a pigmentation moustache where basically all of my upper lip has gone really freckly and dark. And I had it last time and it disappeared by sort of the time the fourth trimester was over and my baby was like three months old so i'm hoping it will again this time but yeah let's just let's just ignore this situation right now because makeup is not even covering it so this is going to be like a vlog like voiceover style sort of video it's going to be like a mixture um of everything that i have done in the house to prepare for baby boy number two I am covered in crap this is toddler mum life um I'm 38 weeks pregnant today I've been filming this video over the past couple of weeks so I thought I'd just do a quick intro for it and then I can get this live for you guys it is quite a long one um so grab your snacks grab a drink um maybe watch it while your child is napping or if you're a first time mum enjoy the time while you still have it um so yeah, I hope this video is helpful for you um, and let's just get right on into it and yeah, like I said, I feel like I'm at a slight advantage this time because I've done this before so I know what was helpful last time, what I used, what I didn't use. So this is kind of everything that I've set up in the house for a newborn. I can't believe we're going to have a newborn in this house again. But yeah, let's, I'm going to stop rambling now. Let's just get right on into this video. So this is coming into his nursery and I wasn't joking when I said there was loads loads and loads to do um before he arrives and obviously see I am full term next week in like a week's time so I really want to get cracking with this now um they're just two gifts that we got for Easter for him so I need to put those away they are the hospital bags um so they are all packed and then I need to put those swim nappies underneath the cot because we literally just got all of this stuff out of the loft earlier and they were some swim nappies that we had left over from Joel that obviously don't fit him anymore so they're going to be for the new baby um so when I can get to here I'm going to put them in the drawer underneath with the rest of our nappies the next to me crib needs to go up the newborn car seat is in that bag last time we used it was in the south of France last summer it was just our spare car seat that we took for Joel to use out there um so we've got like an like a car seat like flight bag over it at the moment but i need to like take it out clean it put it in the car with the isofix base then i have also got um this little sign it's so cute just to go in the car um obviously at the moment i've got baby on board but i'm going to change it and put this acrylic one in i kindly got gifted this by a small business on instagram she did my wardrobe dividers for me as well um i can tag her little page down below but i just thought this was so cute it's got the little little elephants on it and then I also just bought like a second car mirror in home bargains I think this was like five pounds so I've got the mamas and papas one at the moment for Joel and then it suddenly just dawned on me that I'd actually need like a second one so yeah I just picked this one up as like an emergency in there the other day so that needs to go in the car with the car seat I think what I'm going to do is put the isofix base in there or get Steve to do it because I don't actually know how to do it um and then that can just stay in there till the baby's here and then we will take the car seat and put that in the car when we are on our way into hospital I don't really want to like have it in the car before then um in case it ends up in an accident or something like that so I think I'll just give it a clean leave it in here but I'll put the isofix base and the mirror in the car so we're all ready to go and I've got the play mat to go downstairs which I'm gonna wash again I'm pretty sure I washed it when I put it away in the loft but because he's obviously a newborn and they're so sensitive to everything I am just going to give the mat like a little wash with this stuff tonight. So the last thing I'm going to do tonight is set up bottle HQ so um, I'm going to be combi feeding and just see how long it lasts for. I exclusively breastfed Joel for about five weeks and then I switched to formula well, we were kind of still doing breast at night and then formula in the day. And then at 12 weeks, I was just doing formula. Um, but this time I'm going to combi feed from the start. Um, I've got gifted this amazing newborn feeding set from Nano Baby over on Instagram. And um, so I'll show you what is inside here as I'm setting it up. Then we have got the old Tommy Tippy 
um, microwave steam steriliser out of the loft. These little dummies came with this set and sort those out. Um, but I've actually put this up for sale because this comes with a steriliser that fits all of my man bottles in. I've tried it and they all fit, so I might as well use the new one and then sell this. And then we've got the prep machine out of the loft as well. And I've got a brand new filter for this, which I've popped under here. The filter doesn't actually need changing yet because the light comes on when it needs doing. Um, but I thought just to be on the safe side, because obviously newborns are so sensitive to everything, I have ordered a new filter anyway, so I'm gonna change it. Um, and then I've got a fresh tin of formula. So with Joel, we use the Aldi Mamia formula. So hopefully we will get on well with it again. It's basically an exact dupe of the Aptamil pretty much. Um, but it's literally half the price. So I was in there the other day and picked up a new tin just so we've got one in the house. Um, so yeah, that's ready to go. Then he's got his newborn bibs dummy there. There's another one in the hospital bag. That I need to sterilise but that's going to stay in the hospital bag for now um, and this one can go away with the bottles and the dummies. So I'm going to kind of set everything up here. Unfortunately I don't think the prep machine fits underneath here. I'm going to try it. I can't remember. I think we had it there last time. I'm going to put Steve's ta um, Tassimo coffee machine away for now because he doesn't really, he's not really using it that much at the moment. Um, so I'm going to pop it away. Um, obviously probably for the next year while we're using this. Um, and then it can come back out again. But for now, we just don't have, we've got the smallest kitchen in the world and we don't have the side space for everything to be out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of make this like the bottle station area. I'd love for this to be a cupboard, but unfortunately it's got the boiler in and all of our medical stuff. So I can't store anything in there for the bottles. So I think I'm gonna get a little basket and put them all in there with the prep machine and the formula. Um, but yeah, if I don't have any baskets, I'm going to go out and buy one tomorrow, but let's start getting this set up and see how we get on. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try Okay, so this is what I've set up so far. I don't think I'm gonna keep this storage thing. I'm gonna get like a nice basket or something to go here. But for now, we just had this spare, so I've just chucked the bottles in there. Um, so this brush, um, it came with the feeding set. As you can see, it's also got this little like scrubby bit that you can attach to it as well. Um, so for now, I think I'm just gonna keep it in there just to stop it like getting all germy. And then when baby's here, it will just go in our little brush holder on there. I also picked up one in Home Bargains the other day because I forgot we had this one with the set. So that is just chilling in there for now for when we need it because I kind of like replace them every couple of months. Excuse the state of our kitchen. We have just finished cleaning up for the evening and there's still a few bits to do. Um, so yeah, I've got the prep machine here. Gonna change the filter on it in the next couple of days. So that's there ready to go. Got our formula. Um, there's no point like stocking up on loads because he might have issues and like might not get on with this one um, like Joel did so obviously just because Joel was fine with it, it doesn't mean this one will be so I've just got one tin for now and we'll see how he gets on with it. I need to find the little thing that clips onto here that the bottle sits on because I've seen it somewhere, I've shoved it in a drawer somewhere and I can't remember where it is but I remember seeing it when I was doing the nursery a few months ago um, so I need to try and find that and clip that onto there um so i'm gonna put that brush in there in a sec this is the sterilizer so that's got his dummies in which will obviously be sterilized this is a bottle drying rack so i thought that could go there so after we've washed the bottles they can go straight onto here um if you take this bit out there's like spikes that you stick in here that the bottles sit in and then obviously when we're not using it it can just slide behind there this will probably just live in the microwave all of the time because that's what our other one ended up doing. Um, but I love the style of this. It's a bit smaller than the other one, but still fits like just as much in. 
And then in here, we have all of our bottles. So we've got the new ones from Nano Baby that we were sent. And then we've got the man ones that we already had. The teats have gone like a little bit discolored, but they are clean. And obviously I'm gonna sterilize all of them. Look at these tiny little newborn bottles. How cute, I forgot how tiny they were. And then obviously we've got some in the next size up here as well. I wanted to change them and get all cream ones like this, but as it's our, probably, probably gonna be our last baby, there is absolutely no point buying a load of new expensive bottles, especially when I've got four new ones here as well. So I'm just gonna make do with the blue and gray ones for now. Um, and then I found my hacker. Again, it needs sterilizing, but I'm not pumping this time. I threw my pump away because it went moldy because I didn't leave it to dry before um, storing it after washing it. So yeah, but my hacker's still fine. So I'm just gonna sterilize it and that'll be really handy um, for when I am feeding. And then I've got a formula pot in here that I found as well. There's another, I think I've got another two of these. I need to find them. And I've also got some like black, like bottle warmer bags for being out and about, um, like the um, insulated bottle bags. So I need to find those as well. And then they will all go in here, but yeah, that is all of the bottles. Dummies will probably end up going in there or in the nappy caddies as well. They're quite handy to put in the nappy caddy actually. Um, but yeah, that, that's meant to stick to the side. It's going well, isn't it? I'm just gonna shove it in there in a minute and give up. Um, that is everything guys. Also, the set came with this little bottle warmer. It's not an electric one. We do have an electric one, but we never really used it to be honest. Um, and because we've got the prep machine, I don't think I'll really be using it unless we're heating breast milk, but to be honest, I don't know if we'll use it. This is just like a hot, a bowl for warm water to sit them in. So I'm just gonna put this in the cupboard down there for like as and when we need it. And that, is the feeding station all set up and ready to go. I'm gonna really quickly show you. Um, so I've just changed the bottle station around a little bit because I went to B&M today and I picked up these two um, like plastic basket things and they were only three pounds each and they already had like these on the side. So yeah, they didn't obviously have one as their bottle. So this was kind of like the most appropriate, but um, yeah, they're quite a good size. So I've got like the bottle warmer bags in this one they don't really fit that well <laughs> i might move them but yeah they're kind of like formula pots breastfeeding bottles so like where i store my breast milk um in there my hack is in there oh and then all of the newborn size bottles are in there but yeah that's the only thing that's changed like it hasn't changed too much from last night but um i've just completely ruined this now um yeah i just thought i'd show you it looks better than the um white thing that i had everything in before let's just squish these down and they'll fit in the top of there and you won't see them oh there we go this was balanced a minute ago there we go, sorted. So yeah, I just think that looks a bit better. So that is the little bottle station that I've set up. Okay, so it's now Wednesday morning. It's the next morning. Joel is at my friend's house. So I'm just gonna crack on and um, get the last load of newborn slash like naught to three washing done. Um, so I've got the rest of the muslins um i've got some hats like hot sheets that haven't been washed um this is basically a whitewash so i did all of the colors in the darks the other day and now i'm just doing the rest of the whites i think i'm not going to bother with the three to six month stuff this time um i'm just gonna wash that nearer the time because we've got a while till he'll be wearing that yet so but yeah let's get all of this in the washing machine then we can get it drying and put away hopefully tonight and then I'm going to set up the um, nappy caddy. So like I've done with all my newborn washing, I'm washing it in the, this is the Audi Stoop of the Aerial Non-Bio. Um, and then the Comfort Pure, which I use for everything anyway. It just smells amazing. And yeah, it's really gentle for newborns. So I'm just going to pop all of this stuff on now. I think I've overloaded the machine a little bit, but I just want to get it done.
kissed a girl just cause you wanted to Thinking about what you made her do She started Doing her hair and makeup Oh, just for you Only because you kissed a girl When you wanted to You think you're young and smart Got no responsibility in this world But if you're young and smart You should know better Don't get laid back Cause you're not that cool Don't think you're safe and sound Walking around breaking rules I bet your parents are worried sick That's not as cool as you think Not as cool as you think, yeah So I'm just going to set up this nappy caddy in the living room. This was a basket that we had with muslins in in Joel's nursery, but we don't have um, a use for it at the moment. So I thought it would be really cute to use as a little nappy caddy basket down in the lounge. Even though it's not an actual nappy caddy, I think everything will fit in here really nicely. And I'm obsessed with this print. She started. So the first thing that I'm popping in the nappy caddy is um, this pack of Audi Mamiya um, water wipes. They're a dupe of the water wipes that we used with Joel, but just a lot cheaper. So I'm popping a pack of those in there. Then also a pack of the Audi Mamiya nappy sacks. Then I nearly bought Joel's changing mat down from his room, but we actually need it upstairs. So I'm just using this portable um, fold up one for now that we had in um, Joel's changing bag when he was a newborn. Then I have various different brands of newborn nappies that we got given um, from my sister-in-law because her baby outgrew them quite quickly. Um, so we've got some Aldi Mamiya ones. I found a random Asda one from when Joel was a newborn that fell down behind the cot, so we might as well just use it. And then also I've got my um, eco-friendly newborn nappies that were given to me um, in a pre-packed hospital bag that I kindly got gifted on Instagram. So there's four of those in there as well. So we're just gonna use these ones up um, that aren't in packets before I buy any more. Next thing that I'm putting in is just some of the Boots um, own lanolin nipple cream um, that I got given at my baby shower. It's always handy to have nipple cream in most of the nappy caddies so you can just grab it when you need it. And then also these, um, they're like breast, almost like breast pads, but you pop them in the microwave and they heat up. So if you've got any blockages or if you've got sore boobs that day, if your milk's come in or something, these are really handy. And because they need to go in the microwave, these are better off in the nappy caddy downstairs because obviously the lounge is right next to our kitchen. Then obviously it goes about saying I've got plenty of muslins to roll up and go in here. I think there's three or four there. And then I've also got two comforters as well. I might just use one of these, but we will see. This was Joel's favourite when he was a baby. So it would be really nice if his brother takes to it really well as well. This one I might actually pop back upstairs in the nappy caddy in the nursery. And then this one I got given in my pre-packed hospital bag that I was gifted. It's honestly the softest comforter ever and I, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So this one will definitely be going in here. Started doing her hair and makeup. 
so I'm just in the nursery and this is the bathroom basket and obviously the nappy caddy that's staying in here. Um, so I've got a little stall, if you watch my nursery tour, sorry the car seat is in the way at the moment. There's a little stall in the corner there that the nappy caddy sits on and then obviously his cot top changer is there so it's really close. Um, so this nappy caddy we had with Joel, it's just always been in this nursery. You can pick these up at the moment, they've got them back in home bargains again, I think they're like £3 or £3.99 or something like that. Um, but if you can't find them in your home bargains then they also sell them on like Amazon, AliExpress, places like that. But it's literally just like a grey felt um, nappy caddy. So in here, in the side, I need to fold this a bit better, I've got a little knitted comforter this was joel's um so i've just washed it and i thought it was quite cute it goes with kind of like the bear theme of his nursery um ignore that that's the isofix base for the car seat that needs to go in the car um i was meant to do it this weekend but we haven't got around to it so i need to do that asap um and the sleepy head was in the cot obviously it's not going to be used for overnight sleeping but is in there just to store for now with my breastfeeding pillow but i caught the cat sleeping in it last night so i need to keep the door shut to this room so i've had to wash the sleepy head cover again so i'm not very happy um so i've just got like the padding in there at the moment but yeah that will be all set up again tomorrow um so anyway back to the nappy caddy so in the front i've got um the little tommy tippy newborn hairbrush this was joel's um, I need to find where the baby nail scissors and nail clippers are because they will go in here as well. Um, I think they might be in Joel's nappy caddy in his room, but I just need to double check. Um, then I've got a load of, what make are these? Not sure what make these are. We got given a load of newborn nappies from my sister-in-law because her daughter grew out of newborn really quickly. But Joel was in size one nappies for about eight weeks like six to eight weeks i think so i know that we will use size one for quite a while so she's given us quite a lot that like the rest are being stored under there um yeah i really can't remember what brand these were i think these are oh no these are the pampers okay it's actually written on there these are pampers size one newborn nappies um so I'll just put those in that section in here we are using the aldi's version of the water wipes this time rather than the actual water wipes so I've got those in my hospital bag and in the caddy downstairs. But in this one, I thought I'll use these first because these are from Newborn as well, I believe. So I got sent these in my pre-packed hospital bag that I very kindly got gifted by a company called Something A Bit Different over on Instagram. Um, so these are eco-friendly wipes and yeah, they're suitable from birth. So I thought I'll just use those first. Then I've got a pack of the Aldi Mummy and Nappy Sacks that I've accidentally managed to open because they come with like two packs like stuck together. So when I pulled them apart, it ripped this packet open, um, but they smell amazing. So I'm hoping they won't lose their scent because they've been ripped open. Um, so yes, they are wipes and nappy sacks are in that section. And then this section at the front is all of his products. So I actually got these in a... I can't remember where I got these. I think it was, oh, it was when we went for our 4D scan. They gave us like a little bounty pack thing. I haven't really bothered getting any of my Emma's diary packs or anything like that this time around. I did with Joel, but I just haven't bothered this time because we have like, I don't really need anything. Um, But yeah, I got this like little samples. They're just the vitamin D baby drops. I'll probably put these downstairs in the kitchen, to be honest, but I just put those in there for now. Um, I've got a new thing of talcum powder. Obviously, we can't use this on him to start with, but after like the first sort of six weeks, we will do. Um, we still use this on Joel now after all of his baths. I just love the smell of it. It smells amazing. Then I've got um, a bottle of the Child's Farm Baby Moisturiser. We always use Child's Farm products on Joel. I just love them. This is suitable from newborn and upwards. I remember when Joel was a newborn, he got quite dry legs after his baths and stuff. So, um, yeah, we use this and it works really well. So I've just put that in there. I've got a mini pot of the Sudocrem, um, that again, I got in the sample pack from our 4D scan. And then I have the, I actually got given this at my, baby shower along with this so i've just popped those in there so i've got the um super drug my little star nappy cream so that's a new and unopened 
and then the super drug my uh new my little star new mum nipple cream so that's in there um if i need it for when i'm because i'll be like feeding in here during the night um i think i'm going to pop some breast pads in there as well so they're just easy for me to grab if i need them but yeah i just personally found it easier to feed in here at night rather than always in bed but just because i like to sit in here with the little um side light on i've got all of the muslins in that basket there um yeah so it's just easier it's just more comfy the chair's really comfy so yeah that is what is in the na main nappy caddy upstairs i'm just going to fold that a bit better and put that in the side and then this is his little bathroom basket so this is just a spare basket i had on the windowsill with a few of my products in i've kind of switched everything around um so i've got new bottles of the child's farm um, baby bedtime bubbles and then the child's farm baby fragrance free baby wash so we use these with joel um from pretty much from when he was like a week old um so they are suitable from birth these smell of tangerine they're absolutely amazing but yeah child's farm we found were the absolute like best products to use for us personally and we use the like older version for um joel now so he's got those in his little drawer in the bathroom but yeah i've got two new bottles of those for baby then i've got a new sponge there because we always use sponges to bath joel when he was a newborn and then we've got a brand new face cloth this actually came in my pre-packed hospital bag um i thought it would be good to use for baby because i've got so many face cloths um just to like pop over him in the bath to keep him warm and things like that so yeah that's in there and then we've also got the Tommy Tippy bath and room thermometer. So this actually can st sit on the windowsill in here if I ever need to check the temperature in the summer. Um, it's got this little stand here that it can sit on. But yeah, we've used this for Joel the whole way through and you just chuck it in the bath, obviously, to make sure it's not over 37 degrees. And yeah, it works really, really well. So, so yeah, that is just a little basket that I've put together for him in the bathroom. Um, I don't think we need anything else because we've got like a separate basket with like bath toys in and stuff like that. Um, that Joel uses the baby can just kind of share with him not that he's going to be <laughs> bothered about bath toys to start with and I've also put his um he's got the angel care like bath wedge that we had from Joel um so I've hung that on the back of the bathroom door all ready to go um and he will be sitting in there every time he has a bath um with Joel we never bothers buying a baby bath we just put him in the main bath in the bath support and it worked really well So the first thing I've set up in the lounge is the newborn swing. We've got this out the loft and I've given it a full clean and it's all ready for baby to go in. The seat also pops off here, which is really handy so it can double up as a bouncer as well. And now I'm just putting the mattress protector and a clean Moses basket sheet um, on the Moses basket mattress. These have just been washed and dried and they are smelling absolutely amazing of the Comfort Pure. So I'm just popping these on now and then I'm going to pop everything in the Moses basket and get that all set up and ready. So this is the Moses basket all set up and ready. I do have a little wooden tag with his name on to hang where the tassels are as well with, with those. Um, but obviously I can't put that on just yet. But I've got a blanket and a muslin swaddle on here as well. So it's all ready to go. And now I'm just going to get the play mat set, set up in the lounge. Um, the mat has actually been freshly washed and dried. So that's also smelling amazing. And yeah, we're just going to get this set up now. So that's the play mat all set up and ready to go it's the white company play mat and i've just added this, this extra white company spiral toy on top of it which used to be on joel's car seat when he was a newborn as well 
Okay, so I've just done the basket with baby's newborn toys in. What the hell is this? I feel like this little one, who's currently sat on the windowsill playing with his Easter card, has just got a chocolatey finger on there. So that's going to need to be washed again. And this is what happens when you're on your second or subsequent pregnancy. It's not like the first time, guys. It really isn't. So this is his little sensory basket. I've also ordered some flashing um, mar maracas to go in here because Joel had some and they were so popular um, and he absolutely loved them. But unfortunately, they are no longer working because I had them like two years. So I've ordered some more online to go in here. Um, but in here, he's got a new foil blanket, which obviously I haven't opened yet. You can just get these online, like the emergency like first aid box ones. They're about a pound or something. Um, so what I do is open it all out and put it over the top of the play mat and then like use the flashing toys on it so it reflects all the light and it's really good sensory for newborns and then um, there's a Sophie giraffe in here that squeaks so that's quite good um, the sensory like black and white sensory cards that Joel had so they can just kind of I can lay them out around the edge for him to look at there's also a black and white sensory book in his nursery upstairs that I'm going to bring down and put in here and then he can just have it open on here to look at. Um, there's like loads of dance ribbons in here. There's like a black and white newborn one. Um, there's a few other like colourful ones for when he's a bit older. Um, this one I ordered new, the rest we have from Joel. Got the feathers that were in Joel's sensory box. Um, I've got a little shaker musical toy and then some little shaker eggs. Um, yeah, there's probably a few more sensory toys to go in here that I've completely forgotten about. But yeah, that's kind of what I've set up so far. This is his little like sensory corner. So I ended up having a little rearrange of the lounge last night. So the throw basket is back where it usually is with the Moses basket going diagonal. The nappy caddy is underneath. Um, obviously, my birthing ball will be put away in the loft when baby is here. Um, the play mat and the sensory toys are still in the same place as they were yesterday. So basically I just moved the swing because I just didn't think it looked right there. So I've put it behind the door. So obviously when baby is in it, the lounge door will be closed, but it fits really nicely in that little corner there. So the other thing that I have done today is wash all of the sofa cushion covers. And then I have got, I'll show you in a second what I use for the arms. Um, but yeah, ignore these stains. I don't know why sofa cushions do that on the inside. It's not like poo or anything. I think they just discolour. This sofa is five years old. So they literally just, almost five years old, and they literally just discolour over the years. But yeah, I've basically taken the cushion covers off. I've put them on a hand wash. The first lot are drying. And the second lot I've just gone in now. I think I'm going to wash all of the cushion covers as well, but I'll do that either later or on Thursday when Joel's at my mum's. And then I've also hoovered under all of the cushions. There were so many crumbs, bits of food dropped down there. It was horrible. So I've literally hoovered both sofas under all the cushions. I don't do it often enough. I shouldn't wait till I'm nesting to do it, but it is what it is. So yeah, all of these cushions are just drying over doors and every, anywhere that I can get them because I've got a load of washing in the house today. And if you guys are wondering whether to do yours or not, obviously check the washing instructions. But this isn't really like, it's quite a soft, almost a bit chenille sort of fabric, but it's fine to be washed. So the first time I did it, I was so nervous, but I do this at least twice, twice or three times a year now because it just gets so many marks on it from Joel and food marks and things like that and then I just put them on a hand wash setting so it's going to be more gentle um, and that's like a 40 minute cycle at 30 degrees so yeah if you don't have that setting on your machine just put it on for like 40 minutes 30 degrees no more than 30 degrees um because obviously you don't want to risk doing it too hot and ruining them and yeah that is all that I do and then for the sofa arms because they get really dirty and stained because the cat goes on them and everything I just use this, it is absolutely amazing. Um, so you can pick this up in like B&M or Home Bargains, um, I think it's a couple of quid, and we always have some in the house. It is a lifesaver. So I just literally, oh, there's like a hair on it, let me just get that off, that's better. So I literally just squeeze it, oh, it's coming out, I'm not gonna do that, and then just rub it on the arms, and then you leave it for like five minutes, and then rub it over with a wet cloth. Make sure you rub it over with a wet cloth, because otherwise, 
it leaves like a, like a cleaning stain mark on there. So you do have to kind of wash it off afterwards, but this just makes it look so clean, gets rid of all the dirt and the stains on the arms. You don't realize how much dirt comes off your sofa till you wipe it over afterwards. So yeah, that is how I do my sofas. And it's literally so satisfying knowing that we're going to bring the baby home be just sat on the sofa chilling maybe not with a toddler but i will anyway and steve will probably watch joel for the first week or so um and i'm gonna have a nice clean sofa it's a couple of days since i last filmed any nesting content i guess um and it's a quarter to ten at night um and <laughs> i've just come upstairs to go to bed and i'm 37 weeks today i've gone into the nursery to get something that i left in there earlier and seen the next to me crib and ended up freaking out um so i bought the next to me crib into our bedroom and like you do at quarter to ten at night i'm gonna set it up because we are in nesting mode and, you know, crazy nesting hormones and all that. So that's the plan for now. Um, obviously, I have set this up before. I was on furlough with my first pregnancy in the first lockdown in 2020. So I got bored of waiting for Steve to help me with it because he was still working. Um, so one day when he was at work, I just put it up myself and I was really proud of myself because I'm not good or patient with stuff like that at all um but I managed to do it and yeah I'm hoping I can remember how to do it this time I'm just looking at it like is this a job for quarters 10 at night or am I going to lose my shit we'll see <laughs> um so I'm going to attempt to put this together now and then it's done I'm not going to like how much space it's going to take up in our room before baby's here um but it is what it is i wanted everything done by 37 weeks and i'm kind of panicking that it's not quite there um so especially as it's like my second baby so it's more likely to be early um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this get this next to me crib put up i am feeling like a whale this evening i've got this really comfy sweatshirt dress on um which is giving me life right now because i am huge um but yeah let's get this done and Wish me luck. <laughs> Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo. Give up everything that I. Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August Okay, it didn't actually take me as long as I thought, so I'm <laughs> pleased with that. Um, so I've literally just put a fresh freshly washed mattress protector and a freshly washed crib sheet on here um just ones that we have from last time i haven't bought any new this time always just go for plain white because it goes with everything and then i've put a freshly washed cellular blanket and freshly washed um what do you call these velcro bamboo swaddle um because joel's really really good um being swaddled as a newborn so we're going to try it again with this baby um, so these are just ones we had from when we had Joel and then obviously the My Hummy Bear, um, this is the My Hummy Snoozy, it's a white noise machine um, so it's got like a 12 hour standby mode so if baby stirs during the night it will, uh, it plays for an hour then it goes off, then if baby stirs in the night it's on standby for 12 hours to just switch back on again. Um, so yeah these are really really good. I'm not sure if, well, to be honest, with a newborn, I probably won't leave this in the cot overnight. I'll probably just put it on my bedside table, um, but it's in there for now. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to move this, like, in that space next to my wardrobe now. Um, luckily, I don't use that end bit for too much. Like, most of my clothes are in the middle. Um, so, yeah, I'll just have to move it around when it has and when I need it. Um, and then, obviously, when we bring baby home or when I'm 
in hospital Steve can just quickly attach this to the bed before I come home so this side comes down that's how we had it with Joel last time um, so it's almost like you're co-sleeping so you can take this side kind of down and then it kind of attaches to the bed sorry I've just sat on the bed it's like really scruffy but I'm about to go to bed anyway so it doesn't matter um, but yeah if anyone's looking for a next to me crib this is the Chico um, love to dream or Chico dream next to me crib um, it's in like this sort of jer jersey grey material I did prefer the look of the snuzz pod but we bought this one for Joel because it's just bigger and it lasts longer um I know a lot of people that have had the snuzz sn snooze pod snuzz pod and said it's brilliant but baby had kind of very much grown out of it by kind of just before the six month point everyone's obviously different but we have very tall babies <laughs> um so yeah I just think I'm glad we went for this Joel was actually in our room till he was seven months old and because I just couldn't let go um and he still hadn't grown out of this so it's very roomy um and it might not be as neutral looking as the snuzz pod and not have the storage underneath but it's more practical and I thought about changing it to a snuzz pod just for this time but there's no point because this will prob most probably be our last baby so there's absolutely no point changing it so yes the Chico next to me dream and served us really well last time so hopefully it will again this time I just literally can't believe that we're gonna have a newborn baby in here guys it's just mental seeing this in our room again um but yeah very exciting So it's the following week. My job for today, I think this will probably be like one of the final jobs apart from putting the ISO fix space for the car seat in the car. Um, so my job for today is just to clean, excuse the hoover, I've been doing some housework this morning. Um, just clean Joel's seat unit in the pr of the pram because it's so dirty and the nesting is making me want to do it. Um, these two bags need to go in the loft. I've just cleared out my car boot. I've given it a really good hoover. Um, so it's all ready and nice and clean for the pram to go back in. And obviously I've got to fit both parts of the pram in there now. So yeah, going to have like zero boot space after that. Um, but yeah, I've basically washed, ready for the new baby. I've got the mattress protector and a clean sheet in there. So that's going to go on here in a minute. It's all freshly washed. And then we're just going to quickly set the pram up with the tandem adapters and just double check everything's okay um i've set it up once before when those adapters arrived a few months ago but i haven't seen it for a few months so i'm just going to do it again and i'll show you guys what it looks like you're the rose in a garden and it shows if i'm honest you're the leaves in mid-august and i've come out here to say Um, so I basically just use the carpet cleaner that I showed you that I used on the sofa arms. Um, there's some patches that are obviously still just drying. This is like the um, cozy toes apron bit that goes on the seat unit. I'm actually going to put that in the loft because it's just getting grubby in the boot because the wheels end up catching it all the time. Um, so I'm going to put that in the loft because we won't be using that over the summer. Um, this bit I will keep on the carry cot though. I think it's like quite cozy for a newborn. Um, I've just put the fresh sheet and the fresh mattress protector um, on there. So that is all clean and ready to go. If anyone's wondering, I get it's the um, Moses basket size sheets and mattress protector that I use in the carry cart, but you probably all know that anyway. Um, but when I was a first time mum, I was like, what the hell, like what size do you get for the carry cart? But yeah, it's the Moses basket sheets and mattress protector that I use. Um, all of this is clean. I've put the hood up and given that a bit of a clean. And then I'm also gonna use the same um, 
carpet cleaner to clean Joel's car seat because he's had lots of snacks in there recently and it's really grubby. And then I'm going to clean the newborn car seat just because it's been in the loft. It's really clean anyway, but it's just, yeah, I think it's better to give it a clean because um, last time we used it was on holiday in France with Joel. Um, and then I'm going to give the car a hoover out. As, as I said, the boot's already been cleaned, so it's ready for these to go in in a minute. Um, but yeah, I need to hoover the rest of the car out, which I'll probably do on Thursday and then put baby's um, new car seat, like the newborn car seat in there, or at least the isofix space. And then we'll probably put the newborn car seat in there when we go to hospital. But I'm going to put the isofix space, the mirror and like a little toy or something for baby in there. But yeah, let's get this all put together and I will show you what it looks like as a double because I've had so many questions about what pram I'm going to be using um, now that I'm going to have two children. So yeah, I'm not buying a double. I've just got the tandem adapters for this. These were about £40, I think. So this is what I've been pushing around for the last, gosh, year and a half now. Um, we moved Joel into the seat unit when he was about five months old. Um, but obviously he was facing me for quite a while, so... This is what we've been used to. And then this, this is what we are gonna be dealing with from now on. <laughs> I like the fact as well, it's one in front of the other. So I've got not like two side by side because I feel like that'll be harder to get through doors and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is what we are going to be using for baby. And like I said, I've had a lot of questions about what pram I'm gonna be using. Um, so yeah, this is it guys. Sticking with my trusty old egg. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and um, stay tuned for baby's arrival, which hopefully won't be too much longer now. Um, if you're not already subscribed, I would really, really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and gave this video a little thumbs up. I would love to have you guys join me over here on this channel and I will catch you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.